So let's look at an example. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to put this in an augmented matrix. So the first equation is 0x plus 0y plus 2z is 4. The second equation is 2x plus 4y plus z is 4. The third equation is 1x plus 2y plus z is 3. All right, so let's go to the first row. That's my first candidate to be a pivot. Now, that's a zero, so it can't be a pivot. And I'm going to look below it, and the first thing I see is there's something there that can be, uh, that's non-zero, so that could be a pivot. Now, you would, some of you may look at this and say, what if, why not do this with the first and third? It'll be easier. That's correct, but you don't always see that. So I'm just going to blindly go forward with my algorithm. I'm going to swap these rows. So my new row two, Sorry, my new row 1 will be the previous row 1, and my new row 2 will be the previous row 1. So if I do that, this will be 2, 4, 1. It's equal to 4. 0x, zero 0y, zero 2z is 4. And 1x plus 2y plus z is 3. All right, now, going here, this is not 0. That can be a pivot. So I can go through and put zeros there. That's already a zero, so I'm just going to leave that alone to be R2. I need to get a zero there, so that's going to be what? Minus row one, oops, times a half, plus row two. So I'll get minus two times one half is one, minus one plus one is zero. So I leave the top row alone. I leave the second row alone. Let's see, so this will be 2 times minus a half is minus 1 plus 1 is 0. 4 times minus a half is minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Minus 1 half times 1 is minus a half plus a half is 1 half. And then, let's see, so I'm going to be careful here. This is the top row, so minus 1 half times 4 is minus 2 plus 3 is 1. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to the second row. So I've got down to the bottom here. I'm going to go across. So this would normally be my next pivot. Um, so i got to be careful here. I look down. There's all zeros below it. So I can't not get a pivot in this column. So now I'm going to go to the next column. That's not zero. So this is going to be my new pivot. So life is good. So I'm going to leave row 1 alone, row 2 alone, and now I want to get a 0 for everything below. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take minus 1 fourth row 2 plus row 3. Right? I get that by taking 1 half divided by 2. I'll take the negative of that. What happens if I do that? So I'm going to leave the first row alone. I'm going to leave the second row alone. So I'm going to get 0 times minus 1 fourth plus 0 is 0. Minus 1 fourth times 0 plus 0 is 0. Minus 1 fourth times 2 is minus a half plus a half is 0. Minus 1 fourth times 4 is minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Okay, now I go to this row. There's no pivots available to me. Most importantly, it's all zeros. If that right there, that number was not zero, then that means this system is in, uh, inconsistent and there's no solutions. But because it's all zeros, that means I'm going to get uh, solutions to this thing. This is now in row echelon form. I'm going to go back and look at my pivots. And I want to now start from the bottom, go up, put, get ones in my pivots, and get zeros above each pivot. So let's see, the first thing I need to do, I'm going to start here. There's no pivots there. There's a pivot. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a 1 there. So if I do that, what do I get? So I'm going to leave top row alone. I'm going to get 0, 0, 2 times a half. 4 times a half is 2. And I leave that alone. And now, again, this is my pivot. I'm going to take, I'm going to get a zero there. 
So I'm going to do what? I'm going to take my row 1 and I'm going to basically just subtract row 2. So let's see. So I'm going to leave the bottom row alone. I'm going to leave the second row alone. Now I'm going to take 2 minus 0 is 2. 4 minus 0 is 4. 1 minus 1 is 0. 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay. So now everything above this column or this pivot is 0, so I'm done. I'm going to come up. This is my pivot there, right? That's the pivot I use there. First thing I want to do is I want to get a 1 there. So I'm basically going to take 1 half times row 1. If I do that, what do I get? I'm going to get 1, 2, 0, 1. So this is x plus 2y plus 0 is equal to 1. Everything else gets left alone. And now this is in reduced row echelon form. All my pivots are 1s. Everything below the pivot is zeros. Everything above the pivots is zeros if they're there. Anything with zeros in the uh, all the way across is in the bottom. And I've got zeros to the left of all my uh, pivots. Okay. So this is now in reduced row echelon form. Now why is this so nice? The first equation says x plus 2y equals 1. The second equation says 1 times z is 2. And this is system, this system of equations here is consistent with the original equation. So what does it say? It tells me z has to be 2. I can pick any x and y I want as long as they satisfy this. So there's going to be infinitely many solutions. But I'm going to solve for my pivot. So I get x equals 1 minus 2y. z equals 2. So that means then for my solution is x, y, and z. x is 1 minus 2y because x was a pivot. I'm going to solve for that. There's nothing here that tells me anything about y. y has no restrictions on it, so it's just y. And then z has to be 2. So I can let me break this up into two pieces. I've got the 1, and then I've got y times minus 2. Here I've got 0 plus y, so 1 plus z, y times 1. And then here it's z equals 2 plus 0 y. So any solution to this thing right here is going to be in this form right here. It's going to be x is 1, 0, 2 plus any number times minus 2, 1, 0. Okay. And what's nice about this is now because I started off with this mess, once I put it in reduced row echelon form, which is this thing here, this is much easier to interpret and work with. And also, uh, we'll see in a second here, that's a MATLAB command, and it's very easy to use and generate that in MATLAB. OK, we're going to look now at how we can use MATLAB to take an augmented matrix and put it in reduced row echelon form. So with the system that we had before, uh, we're going to take that and put it in an augmented matrix. I'm going to call the augmented matrix A. So we create a new matrix. And to create an array, we're going to first use an open left square brace. For the first row, we have, for the first equation, 0x plus 0y plus 2z is equal to 4. I'm going to start the next row, so we use a semicolon. We had 2x plus 4y plus 1z is equal to 4. I'm going to do the final row. This is going to have 1 times x plus 2 times y plus z is equal to 3. And then we're going to end it with a right closed brace. So let's see. So there's our matrix. Um, now notice I did not put a semicolon there, so it printed out the result. Uh, if I want to find the reduced row echelon form, the command is RREF of A. And we get it in one step. Uh, now notice it created a new variable called ANS for answer. That's the previous answer. 
if I want to store this, so let's create a new matrix we'll call B. That's going to be equal to the RREF of A. Now, I suppose I don't want to print that out. If I put a semicolon there, it's created the new matrix B. Didn't print out the result, but if I want to see it, now I just hit B and return by itself, and there it is.